Hi, I'm Dr. Abhishek Mangeshika, an endometriosis specialist and excision surgeon. And today we're going to talk about something many people experience but often dismiss, pelvic pain. For a lot of women, pelvic pain is written off as normal period pain. But in many cases, it can be a sign of something more. If your pain is severe, lasts beyond your period or affects your daily life, it's time to pay closer attention. In this video, we'll cover when pelvic pain is normal and when it isn't. What conditions other than menstrual camps can cause pelvic pain? How endometriosis and other gynecological conditions contribute to chronic pain? When to see a doctor and what to ask? As a specialist in endometriosis and chronic pelvic pain, I've treated countless patients who spent years being told their pain was just part of being a woman. Today, we'll break that myth and help you understand when pelvic pain is a sign of something far more serious. Pelvic pain isn't always a cause for concern. Some discomfort during your period is expected due to the uterus contracting as it sheds its lining. Mild cramping that lasts one or two days in response to the over-the-counter painkillers is typically not a cause for concern. Ovulation pain, known as Mittelschmerz pain, can occur mid-cycle and is usually short-lived. Mild bloating or discomfort before or on or during your period is also common. However, when pelvic pain becomes severe, prolonged or disrupts your quality of life, it's time to investigate further. You should seek medical attention if your pelvic pain is severe and doesn't improve with medication. If it lasts beyond your period or occurs throughout the month, causes pain during sex, bowel movements or urination, is associated with irregular or heavy bleeding, is accompanied by digestive issues like bloating, diarrhea or constipation. If you experience any of these symptoms, it could indicate an underlying medical condition that needs attention. Endometriosis occurs when tissue similar to the uterine lining grows outside the uterus, leading to severe pain, inflammation, and scarring. Unlike normal period cramps, endometriosis pain can occur before, during, or after menstruation and may affect other organs like the bowel and bladder. Adenomyosis is a condition where the uterine lining grows into the muscular wall of the uterus, causing severe cramping, heavy periods, and an enlarged tender uterus. Pain can worsen over time and may not respond well to typical period pain treatments. Fibroids are non-cancerous growths in the uterus that can cause chronic pelvic pain, pressure, and heavy bleeding. Depending on their size and location, fibroids can also affect bladder and bowel function. Pelvic inflammatory disease or PID is a bacterial infection that affects the reproductive organs often caused by untreated STIs. Symptoms include chronic pelvic pain, fever, and unusual vaginal discharge. Irritable bowel syndrome or IBS and gastrointestinal disorders. IBS can cause abdominal cramping, bloating, and irregular bowel movements which may mimic gynecological conditions. Many women who have endometriosis also have IBS, making the diagnosis tricky. Pelvic congestion syndrome is a condition where veins in the pelvis become enlarged and cause chronic dull pelvic pain that worsens when standing for long periods of time. Musculoskeletal and nerve conditions, nerve entrapment syndromes, pelvic floor dysfunction, or past surgeries can lead to chronic pelvic pain that doesn't improve with hormonal treatments. Conditions like fibromyalgia or rheumatoid arthritis can also cause contribute to widespread to pelvic discomfort. As an endometriosis specialist, I frequently see patients who have been told for years that their pain is normal. Unfortunately, many general doctors and gynecologists are not trained to recognize the complexities of chronic pelvic pain conditions. Many women are first misdiagnosed with IBS or anxiety before they finally receive an accurate diagnosis of endometriosis, adenomyosis, or another pelvic pain condition. Key red flags that suggest specialist evaluation is needed. Pain that doesn't go away after your period ends. Pain that worsens over time rather than improving. Severe pain that doesn't respond to standard period pain treatments. Multiple failed treatments such as birth control or painkillers without relief. If you've been struggling with unexplained pelvic pain, it's important to consult a specialist who understands these conditions rather than accepting vague explanations. If your pelvic pain is interfering with your life, it's time to see a doctor. Track your symptoms, keep a journal of when your pain occurs, how severe it is, and any triggers. Note any other symptoms, heavy periods, painful bowel movements, fatigue, all of these little details matter. List previous treatments. Have you tried birth control, painkillers, or other therapies? Did they work? Here are some questions to ask your doctor. Could my pain be due to endometriosis or another chronic pelvic condition? What diagnostic tests can help determine the cause of my pain? If this treatment doesn't work, what are my next options? Should I see a specialist in chronic pelvic pain? If your doctor dismisses your pain or doesn't take your concerns seriously, seek a second opinion. Understanding pelvic pain is key to proper treatment. Pelvic pain is not always just period pain. If your symptoms are severe, persistent, or worsening over time, don't ignore them. Chronic pelvic pain should never be dismissed as normal. 
If you've been struggling with unexplained pain, advocate for yourself. Ask the right questions and seek out a specialist if necessary. The sooner the cause of your pain is identified, the sooner you can get the right treatment. Thank you for watching. I hope this video has helped you understand when pelvic pain is more than just your period and what to do about it. If you have personal experiences with pelvic pain, feel free to share your story in the comments. Your insights may help others who are going through the same thing. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more content on managing pelvic pain and women's health conditions. Take care and I'll see you in the next video.